Here are the latest numbers in the race for Washington governor. Washington, of course, a top two primary state. So the two candidates with the most votes, regardless of party, move on to the November ballot. Democratic incumbent Governor Jay Inslee has 52 percent of the vote leading the pack right now. Uh, Republic Washington Police Chief Lauren Culp is in second place with 17 percent of the vote. And this is just the beginning. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Wright. And I'm Jessica Janner Castro. Thanks for being with us tonight. King 5's Drew Mickelson starts our election coverage live from Olympia. Drew. Jessica and Mark, I just spoke with Governor Jay Inslee, who apparently at this point, according to his initial numbers, looks like he will be one of the two people on the ballot come November to work here at the state capitol for another four years. He said it was very gratifying to see those initial numbers. He would be the first governor since 1972 elected to a third term. And I asked him why voters should send him back here. We need to have uh, uh, a, an approach to beat this pandemic that is based on good science and a confidence that we can do smart things to, to reduce the the suffering of our people due to COVID. And to do that, we have to have somebody who's gonna be make the tough decisions. Now, as you're gonna hear in our newscast a little bit later, the other potential candidate on that ballot, Lauren Culp is having a big celebration tonight. Outdoors, hundreds of people, not a lot of masks, live music, all things that Governor Jay Inslee says we shouldn't be doing right now. I asked him about that. He called that disappointing. He said it was an outrage that this candidate may be leading people into the jaws of COVID. So we're only a couple of hours after the ballots have been submitted and we're already getting some of that, uh, that election talk that we can expect to hear up until November. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News. Yeah, already hearing those fighting words. Drew, thank you. And before we get to that watch party um, by Culp, we're going to tell you some information here that we have from our King 5 exclusive poll. Likely November voters showing that Jay Inslee would likely beat Lauren Culp by 30 percent should they both secure a spot on the ballot. That does appear to be happening tonight. But those odds did not stop Culp from holding an election night rally without any social distancing and masks, as Drew mentioned. King 5's Kayla Lafferty joining us now from there live near Leavenworth. Kayla, I know you just spoke with Culp. What did he have to say about these uh, first results? Well, we just, like I said, spoke with Culp just a few moments ago. He said he's feeling really good about the results. You know, coming in second so far, that means he might make a spot uh, there for the general election in November. Um, and he's saying there's still a lot of time left in the night, of course. And one of the other things he talked about, he said he's really happy with the turnout tonight and says it's a show of freedom against mandates that are in place. Now, of course, this rally does go directly against Governor Jay Inslee's COVID-19 restrictions, as we mentioned. Plain where this rally is is still in a modified phase one of Governor Inslee's phased approach to reopening the state. That means no gatherings larger than five people and face coverings are required. And Culp had that same feeling of they're, they're trying to stand for freedom. And several of the people we talked to as supporters here tonight said the same thing, uh, that they're here to support Culp, but also to show their support for freedom. We feel as, as governor, future governor Culp does, that the people can make the decisions for our own lives, not a governor sitting in a mansion somewhere. So we have the right. So it's about our freedoms, not about what Inslee's agenda is. His mandates, first and foremost, are not legal. He has no legal authority. He's admitted to the courts. He knows these aren't laws. He can make all the recommendations he want, but nobody mandates, nobody tells me I absolutely have to, except that man up there. Now, uh, Culp said that the turnout here tonight is about 1,500 people and that he really loves that many, that many people came out to support him tonight. Uh, and like, as I mentioned before, he said he's feeling really confident about the results so far. Live in Plain, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News. Kayla, real quick, you said 1,500 people out there tonight. How many of those are wearing a mask? Have you seen anyone wearing a mask? We have not really seen anybody wearing masks so far tonight. Basically just the news crews that are out here reporting on it. So, yeah, not a whole lot of people out here wearing masks tonight. All right. Kayla Lafferty reporting live for us. Thank you. 
There is a lot at stake for both political parties tonight with all eyes on the general election in November. Caleb Heimlich joins us now. He's the Republican Party chair for the state of Washington. Caleb, thanks for joining us. Let's take a look at the race for governor. Democrat Jay Inslee has a pretty sizable lead with 52 percent. So, Caleb, what can Lauren Culp, if he turns out to be the nominee heading into uh, November, what can he do to to close that gap, do you think? Well, I think, look, you see Governor Inslee at 52 percent. He's been in office for eight years uh, and almost half of the people are voting for someone else. So I think there is a desire for change. And I think it's up to Lauren, if he is the nominee, uh, to raise more funds, to get that message to people that there is a, there is a better way. There's an alternative here. And I think the voters are speaking to that with 48 percent of people choosing someone other than Jay Inslee when he's been in office for eight years. Caleb, what effect do you think that President Trump will have on Republican candidates here in Washington come November? Is there a down ballot effect, do you think? Well, what we're seeing tonight as you look at legislative races and congressional races, we're very optimistic with the 8th Congressional District. Representative Kim Schreier is only at 44 percent. She is very vulnerable. So CD8 is very much going to be in play. You compare that to the, the seat the Democrats were targeting down in CD3, Jamie Herrera Butler, she's getting 54%. So I'd much rather my incumbents get 54% than the Democrat incumbent in CD8, who's only at 44%. And then you look at the legislative districts in, in LD19 in Southwest Washington, Republicans are gaining a Senate seat, poised to gain a House seat. So we're optimistic that we're gonna restore balance to Olympia and balance out our representation in Washington, D.C. as we head into this November election. There seems to be a political split, Caleb, between Republicans and Democrats in our state when it comes to COVID-19 and how the governor is handling this. We saw a rally near Leavenworth tonight where our reporter said no one's wearing a mask and they're calling it an infringement on their personal rights. In your mind, is this a political issue or is this a public health issue? I think, unfortunately, Governor Inslee has made it a political issue. The way he has led since March, when he chose which businesses to open, which businesses to close, uh, labeling some workers essential, some workers non-essential, unfortunately, his failure to lead in a bipartisan fashion, he still hasn't called the legislature back into a special session. Many Democrats are saying we should be in a special session right now. But when Governor Inslee chooses to forge ahead by himself, that turns people off and that makes it a political issue. So unfortunately, his polarizing leadership has divided our state on this issue. Well, Caleb Heimlich with the uh, Republican State Party Chair. Thank you so much, Caleb. I'm sure we'll be seeing much more of you between now and November. Thanks. Thank you, Mark. All right, so earlier tonight, we talked with the chair of the state Democratic Party about the governor's race. Tina Podlodowski says Jay Inslee is marching toward re-election. Well, you know, Washington Washingtonians have given Donald Trump the lowest approval rating in a century, and they're not going to like Trump-loving Lauren Culp any better. You will hear much more from the Democratic chair coming up in the 10 o'clock hour on King 5 News. And here's where the lieutenant governor's race stands right now. Former U.S. Congressman Denny Heck off to a very healthy lead over Marco Leas and Ann Davison Sattler. You see there Heck with 28 percent tonight. Nearly a dozen candidates have lined up to take the seat of current lieutenant governor Cyrus Habib, who is leaving office to join the clergy. We will have much more election coverage for you this hour, including the race to replace the Pierce County Sheriff, a bond to update schools in Everett, as well as several con congressional seats that are up for grabs tonight. You can also text the results to 206-448-4545. We'll send you the latest numbers that we have right to your phone.